Today on The Hacker Show, we're going to be bypassing bot detection and solving CAPTCHAs with Playwright, specifically the Python version of Playwright. However, the same principles will also work for other versions, such as JavaScript, etc. So this is the Playwright Python library on GitHub. And inside the documentation, you'll see that there are no trade-offs and no limits. However, I'm going to make some slight modifications in order to make that statement be actually true. So this is what Playwright generally looks like for Python. You're going to be importing it, and then you'll have a line such as with sync Playwright as P, and the async version looks like this. And normally, the web browser is launched with a command like this, browser equals p.chromium.launch. However, that is the part of Playwright that spins up a web browser that isn't so stealthy. However, the rest of the commands that Playwright runs, which uses the Chrome DevTools protocol, that is stealthy. So in order to make Playwright more stealthy than it is now, we need to replace this line here with something else that gives us a stealthy browser. Now, Playwright already has a method called connect over CDP, which basically lets you attach Playwright to an existing browser instance using the Chrome DevTools protocol. And this is the key to making Playwright stealthy because you can use a stealthy web browser as opposed to the default web browser that Playwright gives you, which isn't so stealthy. So now you'll see that the browser is spun up with this line, browser equals playwright.chromium.connectoverCDP with the local host and then the remote debugging port, which is usually 9222. And then you'll set up the default context like this and the page like this. And that's going to basically allow you to make Playwright stealthy, assuming that you've already given it a stealthy browser to work with. And for more details on connect over CDP, you can go see ChatGPT. Basically, it lets you connect to an already running Chromium browser, and it uses the Chrome DevTools protocol. So going into the code, you can see that connect over CDP is used already quite frequently within the Playwright library. And here is an example of it being used in the Python context. And this is from github.com Microsoft Playwright Python. So all that is already being used in various examples, but we're gonna take that one step further by spinning up a stealthy browser, connecting to it, and then performing Playwright actions while bypassing the bot detection and getting through captchas. So we'll be spinning up the web browser with another framework called Selenium Base, which is quite popular on GitHub, about 12,000 GitHub stars right now. And it basically has a stealth mode called CDP mode, which lets you spin up a stealthy browser. And with Playwright, you can then attach to Selenium Base's stealthy browser and then run all your existing Playwright methods as you would normally. So if you've already installed Playwright, you can then spin up the web browser with Selenium Base if you have that installed and then connect to the web browser using connect over CDP. So there are a few different formats where you can do this. So there's three in particular. There's the SB CDP sync format, the SB nested sync format, and the CDP driver async format. So for this tutorial, we're mostly gonna cover one and three, and two is a little special because it spins up the web browser with WebDriver instead of Chrome DevTools protocol direct connect. So we're gonna focus on the CDP version of that. So here's an example of what that code might look like from playwright.syncapi, import sync playwright. This you've already seen many times before. And then you'll have from Selenium base import SBCDP. And then you'll spin up the web browser with Selenium base. And then you'll grab the endpoint URL using the get endpoint URL method. And then you're going to see some playwright code that you may already be familiar with with sync playwright as P. And then you're going to set the browser to connect over CDP 
and then set the other variables as needed, and then you can start running any playwright commands that you want, such as page.goto, and then you'll be able to go to a web page while using stealth mode so that you'll bypass any bot detection that they throw at you as well as, well as getting past captures that may also be there. And then let's jump over to the CDP driver async format because some of you might be interested in using the async version of Python instead. And it looks a little different, but it's mostly doing the same thing underneath. You're going to be grabbing the endpoint URL and then passing that endpoint URL into the connect over CDP method. And then you can resume calling all your playwright commands as needed in order to bypass the bot detection. So let's start with uh, running some examples just so you can see how things work. Let's do python raw bing cap sync dot py. We're going to run that. And there's basically a Cloudflare captcha there on the bing.com Turing Captcha Challenge page. And Playwright with Selenium Base was able to bypass that. Let's take a look at that code here. So that's going to be the raw bing cap sync. This is the example that we just ran. And you can see here that we grabbed the endpoint URL. We put it into play right here using the connect over CDP method. And then we did page.goto, which is calling playwright methods right from there. And you can see you went to the URL and then we bypassed the captcha and it didn't even need the solve captcha method, which is added in in case the captcha isn't solved automatically. So Sunnybase not only gives you the stealthy web browser that Playwright can connect to, but it also gives you additional methods that may be helpful depending on special situations that you may run into. So for instance, Playwright does not have a solve captcha method. Sunnybase will provide that as needed. So you can use that if captchas aren't always bypassed on a page load. And there's lots of examples here that we're going to cover. The next example that we're going to run is the Planet Minecraft example because there's a Cloudflare captcha on it. So let's do that. Let's do python raw planetmcsync.py. We're going to run that. You can see here there is a Cloudflare turnstile there. And then with the solve captcha method, you can see that it successfully clicked the captcha with that method and it was bypassed. So let's take a look at that code again, just so you can see what happened there. It pretty much looked similar to the Bing captcha example we saw before, except this time we're going to the Planet Minecraft website and then it clicked the captcha by using the solve captcha method. And then we verified that the captcha was indeed clicked because on that specific website, the input that was initially disabled, that input field, until you solved the captcha, and then it was no longer disabled. And this test here showed that the captcha was bypassed for that particular website. There's lots of other examples that we have, so let's show you some of these other ones. All right, so let's do another. Let's do Python raw footlocker sync.py. All right, so we're going to go in. You can see that there is the footlocker page. And let's do a search. Let's see, it's doing Nike shoes. And then let's see if we can scrape data from that website. So you can see here, data was scraped on various Nike shoe prices. And this is one of those websites that has some pretty strong bot detection on it. But Playwright was able to bypass that bot detection with Selenium Base, and we were able to get at all this data. For, for example, what you see here, all these shoe prices and the details, that is all here. So let's take a look at what the code for that looks like. That would be the raw footlocker sync.py. It's a longer example, but pretty much same idea. Use Playwright to open the page once you've given it the stealthy browser. And then you can call Playwright commands like here's page.click. Here's another page.click. Here's page.wait for selector. However, 
with this special format that we have, we can mix playwright methods with Selenium based methods into the same example so that you can pretty much call methods from either framework all within the same script because that's basically what you get when you've combined the frameworks. You've got the APIs from both frameworks to choose from. So we can just mix and match. You can use whichever method you want to use. And if you're more familiar with Playwright, you can pretty much just use Playwright for everything, except specifically some methods such as solve CAPTCHA, which only Selenium Base provides. So you can see here, we printed out the output that we found after we made the search, and we bypassed the bot detection in that process. And there's lots of various examples here. For instance, if we go to the BingCap sync example, you'll see that here's what it looks like when you do the async version of that. So it looks a little different because you'll need to import asyncio, and then you'll be importing the CDP driver, and then you'll have an async main method, such as here. You're going to spin up the web browser with Selenium Base, and then Playwright will attach to it, becoming stealthy and allowing it to bypass bot detection and solve CAPTCHAs with the solve CAPTCHA method. So that's what that looks like. There's just tons of different examples. Here's one where we're just calling a bunch of Playwright methods just to show you that any Playwright method that exists can be called within this format. Uh, let's see, there's just a bunch of different examples here. There's a GitLab example because um, on this website, there is a Cloudflare capture that appears when you first go to it. However, Selenium Base can bypass it. So let's run that. Let's do Python raw GitLab sync.py. And it's going to go in. There's a Cloudflare CAPTCHA, and it was bypassed automatically because it was stealthy enough. You can see here that we went through and it succeeded. So we can also run the async example. It should run the same, but the code will look a little different. So let's do python raw gitlab async.py, and it should look the same as before. It bypassed the CAPTCHA, and it got to the GitLab page, which was protected by the CAPTCHA, but Playwright was able to get through it because it was stealthy. So lots of different examples there. I think we covered a lot of the main ones. Let's see, any more good ones to run? I think, yes, let's do uh, SeatGeek for the next one. So let's do Python raw SeatGeek sync.py. And it's going to go to the SeatGeek website, which is protected by bot protection. And we're going to search for Jerry Seinfeld tickets. So the ticket list is going to come through for the shows near you. You can see that it was outputted to the console. So you can see here all the various Jerry Seinfeld shows that are coming nearby. Let's take a look at the code for that example. That would be right here the raw seatgeek sync.py. And as before, it's gonna look very similar. Grab the endpoint URL and then feed it into Playwright and then open the page, do the search. So you would type text into the input field and then you'd click to get the results and then we'd find the results and we'd display that to the console. So that is the seatgeek sync example. I think there's another good example we can run. That would be the raw Walmart sync.py. So let's run that next. Python raw Walmart sync.py. All right, so it's going to go to that page. It's on walmart.com. And let's do a search for, it's going to search for Settlers of Catan board game. And then it's going to find all the results and then output that to the console. You can see here all the various games and their prices. So that is the Settlers of Catan example for Walmart. Let's go look at the code for that. Here it is. This should all look very familiar to you at this point. You use Playwright to go to the page and then you'll click to do a search. You'll do the search and then you'll use some code in order to 
nicely display all that output to the console so that you can take a look at it. But you could also save that data to a data structure of Python to use for later. So there's lots of different ways you can handle that. So that's the raw Walmart sync example. And just going back to the basics, this is what like the async format would look like. It uses a slightly different syntax, but it supports both the sync format and async format. And although we didn't really cover it much in today's tutorial, there is a nested sync format that uses WebDriver as well. So regular Sunnybase sync format with the CDP mode, the pure CDP mode, it doesn't use WebDriver at all. However, the nested format does. So that allows you to use WebDriver methods with Selenium-based methods with Playwright methods. So it gets pretty intense at that point. Although Selenium-base doesn't necessarily use WebDriver depending on the format that it has because the newer Selenium-based formats use a pure CDP connection without using WebDriver at all. So there's lots of different methods available and the APIs are listed from the GitHub page. So back to the sync example here, you'll have one context manager, and then you'll have your playwright context manager from within that context manager that basically continues the way. So in summary, if you want all the details on stealthy playwright mode, which is a special mode of Selenium base that lets you use playwright when Selenium base spins up that self stealthy browser and then playwright takes over, that's essentially how it works. You've got all the examples, the three formats that you'll want to take a look at carefully. Note the sync format. That's probably the format you're going to be using unless you like using async, in which case go to the async example here and that will have the code that you'll want to follow. And there's just lots of details and instructions on how to do everything that you'd want to do with Playwright, with Selenium Base, that whole combination basically gives you the stealth that you wouldn't necessarily get. But if you make some slight modifications, now Playwright gets the stealth abilities that you need. And note that you have to change the default web browser that Playwright spins up that you'd normally use chromium.launch for, and that's where we're using connect over CDP instead and that is what makes Playwright stealthy. It's the web browser that Playwright spins up that determines whether or not Playwright is going to be stealthy because all the other methods that it calls are stealthy by default. However, the thing that gets you is that default web browser because Playwright's default web browser that it spins up is not stealthy, and that's why you need to use Playwright's connect over CDP method in order to connect to an existing web browser that's running off of a remote debugging port. And that basically allows you to make Playwright stealthy and bypass all the captures and bot detection that you wanna bypass. So that pretty much covers this tutorial with Playwright and Selenium Base with stealthy Playwright mode. And there's going to be a lot more exciting tutorials to come. So I can't wait to show you what's coming up next. All right, everybody, I'll see you all later. Happy automating.